Right, I want to talk about interviews. Who would like to either be an interviewer or be interviewed? I want to be interviewed. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Uh, this is live on the BBC. Channel, Channel 4. 4. Channel 4. Channel 4. Channel, this is live on Channel 4, I beg your pardon. Um, right, Wayne Rooney, yeah. he didn't ask to be a multimillionaire. Yeah. The market, his club, his country, Adidas, all his sponsors, yeah. they think he's worth that. Why shouldn't he get that money? Because he's absolutely 100% not worth that. Why is, he, why is he getting so much pay when people who say people's lies every day? Because he makes people so happy. No, but no, he doesn't. He, walks, he runs around a pitch kicking a football. I, I, think, I think my point, there should be a cap on how much footballers should get paid. Why only footballers? What about bankers? Because bankers, what do you, I'm not talking about that, sorry. Stop coming off of the point. I'm talking about footballers. Yes, I know bankers. you are, but bankers earn far more than yeah, footballers. Yeah, but that's not the point. We're talking about footballers. We're talking yeah. About, so we're not talking about bankers. So, so you would just, you would have a law discriminating. Your facts, right? On about what we're talking about <laughs> today. You would have a law discriminating just against footballers. No. Even though there's loads of people wealthier than footballers. Yeah, I know, but no. What have you got against footballers? I haven't got anything against footballers in particular, but I think that they do not do anything for society. They at entertain all. No, they millions entertain of people around the, the world. If you did, you watch the World Cup this year. I did. Wayne Rooney is one of the highest paid footballers, and he was the most lazy. Bastard I've ever seen in my whole life. He had entire a bad life. tournament. He had a bad tournament. No, he didn't have a bad tournament. He just didn't do nothing. What about Tiger Woods? Does he pay too much? Is it? Yeah, they're all sportsmen actually. Yeah, all, all sportsmen. sportsmen. All sportsmen. All sportsmen. No, not rugby players. Not rugby players. No. Okay, right. No, but seriously, why footballers get a lot of attention? Yeah. But there are loads of people in the world who earn far more than these guys do. Yeah, but they work. They, they go out and they do what? They do something that's going to help like oil. These people who do the oil. Most, oil. most of these bankers cause the economic crisis, which is the reason why you now get any benefits yeah, cut. No, 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 no. Don't try to turn it around on the bankers. But mate. it's true. It's not true. It's, it's just true. true. The, reason the, the benefits, footballers the reason didn't cause the, the economic the crisis. The reason the benefits are going to be getting cut is because of the people in government. It's not to do with the bankers. We might not have a lot of money. The bankers we might not have a lot of the crisis. Money, okay, but it's the government who are making the final decision. The bankers decision. helped cause the crisis. Do you agree yes, with that or not? Yeah, I do. I totally agree. But you didn't say that. So why don't you say that? Now you're changing your decision. You said it was the bankers' fault. Now you're saying it's Fault as well as the government. So How did he do? Good. Why was he good? Why was he good? Because he was trying to get back to the point. He was trying to. He drift. kept coming back to his own point. He didn't let me push him off his he was point. Trying to drift. Exactly. Right. You want to talk about night crime? Yeah. Okay. And youth services. Yeah. Listen, I want to put youth services up there as one of your ideas, okay? Because I feel we need ten, yeah. So more money for youth services. Right, Michael. I saw your launch of your campaign today, late in youth services and, and, and knife crime. What, what, how on earth can you make the claim that there isn't enough money spent on youth services? Four billion pounds over the last parliament, specifically to help the youth. What, how can you say there's not enough money? Because not a single penny have actually gone towards the youth. They say it has, yeah, but non-stop, yeah, youth, youth schemes are being shut down. Youth... What about free museums? Free access to museums? Are no, is that youth services? That, no, no, but, no. Wait a minute. No, but, you... but it's money. You can't say it's done nothing. No, no, no. No, no, but, okay. no but this is the point, yeah? Like... Let Michael speak. Because this is the point, yeah? Because, like, Chloe. all that money was meant to be going, yeah, and put towards, you, yeah, new stuff into the youth schemes, more, like, trips and stuff, yeah? More stuff to keep them occupied. Yeah, but not a single thing yet. I know, like you can't say no, nothing has been no. spent on. No, because no, you can't say no. Not say, a no thing. I say like a two, like a fraction. Yeah, a very small fraction out of it has been actually dished out of it. So where's the money gone? <laughs> Where where's the money think? gone? They I don't know. They just spent it on three grand cigars. But the MP has this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, and what, but why do you think there is a relationship between this and knife crime? Because they don't think, yeah, that the youth are worth spending money on. That's pretty much why, yeah? Because they see, yeah, all of this publicity on the news, yeah, saying, oh, there's too many stabbings, yeah? Because, like, every, all the older generation now, they're all scared of the youth, yeah? But not all youth, yeah, are all bad. They're just misunderstood. They just need a chance to actually redeem themselves and actually show, yeah, they have potential. Brilliant. Why was that? I thought that was good. Why was that good? Why was the end of it good? The end was good because at the end you were talking about truthful stuff, but the yeah, first part was a bit off course because you should because you should have researched first. I, I, some money did get spent. I saw not the, enough. But when he got onto a big message, he was good. He was strong. Yeah. And Ronnie, I've got to get Ronnie up because Ronnie's a big radio man. Come on, come on, Ronnie. Go on, Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. Go on, Ronnie. Go on, Ronnie. Go on, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronnie, come on. Right, Ronnie. Right, okay, Ronnie. Let's rock. You want to do what? No, let's rock. Let's rock. 
Okay. Mm. What, um, that is quite a good thing to do, by the way. Put the interviewer a bit on edge. Why is he saying that rock to me? Gets you a bit thinking. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to question me about? Whatever you want to talk about. Well, I'd like you to decide. Uh, child, child protection. No, because that's the one we're going to agree on. We need to get something we disagree on. I'll tell you what, here's one. You think the radio is better than television. Yeah. Okay? A lot right. better. Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. So you, you tell me why you think I'm wrong. I'm interviewing you. Okay. I'm asking you why okay. you think. Okay, but I'm switching it back on you for the start. Why do you think I'm wrong? I think you're wrong because uh, I've been around a lot longer than you. I know a lot more about the world. I've analysed it probably more deeply than you have. Television is more powerful and more influential than radio. And radio, you lose all you get is a voice. And television, you get okay, pictures. Okay. How often have you been on TV and how often have you been on radio? Loads of both. So, what's, the, what's the point? So, so, so why are you saying that TV is more powerful than radio? You've got a picture dis to distract you on TV. When it's radio, it's just you and the voice, the power of the voice. OK, but I'm saying if you've got a screen there and people are engaging in it, you're going to be able to make your point far better than you do just by having a voice. Why, do you, why, why can't you see that as clearly as I do? All you should need is your voice. If you're powerful enough in yourself, all you should need is your voice. You okay. should need So what do you want to do? What, what, what do you want to do to make more people to get to your point of view about rate? Words speak louder than? Actions. Pictures. Pictures yeah. speak louder than words. No, I don't. Pictures I, speak louder than words. I don't believe that myself. So what should the government do about it? Should we be sort of giving everybody free radios or should we just let them get, go in their business? People don't listen to radio like they used to. A lot of people do. Do they? I think you're in a minority. I Radio 1 calls in 7 million listeners each morning. 7 million? 7 okay, million good. listeners each morning. OK. How was that? Was that a good point? Yeah. That was good? Yeah. You, you could tell he believed it. Yeah. It was authentic. Yeah. Danielle this morning has launched a campaign <laughs> under the heading All Politicians Stink. OK? I'm supporting our Right. Children. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Danielle, mm -hmm. every time I've seen you, heard you, listened to you, the thing that most comes out of your mouth <clears throat> is you think all politicians are terrible people. Yeah, because it's true. It's Let not me true. ask. No, 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 hang on. Yeah. You're saying all politicians, they're all good. They're, who no, are, they're, who they're all are good. they trying to impress? The public. No, they're trying to change the world. Well, the thing is, is there anyone here that agrees with the government? The change, you, excuse me, you're doing an interview. You're not, you haven't got an audience. There's a screen there. There's no people in the room. So, it's but you I and feel me. Like I speak up for the people. It's you and so me, ahead. right? Oh, you well. say you're speaking up for the people. Yeah. You say you're speaking up for the people. Mm. What most politicians are trying to do is change the world for the better. You may not like what they do or how they do it. That's what they're trying to do, right? How can you just sit there and say they are all bad people? Are there no good people in politics? Politicians are. Older people, the older generation. Yeah. Right. Times have changed. Okay. Cultures changed. So why don't you go into politics? Changing. Why don't you go into politics and change are. it? Because they would never accept me. Because they think they're too high up there. They know everything about the world, but they don't know from youth who go out there, live the world, see stabbing, see shootings. You never hear our views in the politics or anything. Well, excuse me, where I live, right, in Camden, there's somebody down the street, 20 years old, who's a councillor. 20 years old. Mm. How old are you? 18. Right, why can't you stand for the council and do something about it instead of sitting there moaning the whole time? OK, let me know. How would I actually go about to get into the government and be a politician? You would have to stand for election, you just go along, you fill in the paper, you stand no, for election. No, I can't, because they're so stuck on GCSEs to get into college. No! They would never, they would never choose me. You don't need me. a qualification to stand for parliament. That's true, that is true, because you go you, to... You need to have arguments and passion and ideas. And how would I get seen without any qualifications or anyone giving me a chance? That's why we're here and we're talking about GCSEs. Because okay. we don't have that chance. We've okay. got the voice, the power. But if it's not on paper, it doesn't count. So would you like to stand for, uh, to be a politician? I would like to be a politician, right. yeah. When you became a politician, right, mm -hmm. would that mean that all politicians were terrible people? No, but li I'm not right. saying... No, no, no. Ah, no, okay. I'm not saying they're all terrible people. You are because saying they're all terrible people. You keep saying that to me. You have your own opinion. Yeah. Is that true? Correct. I have a lot of opinions. Exactly. So do you. But do you, agree, do you disagree with other politicians? All the time. Exactly. Yeah. That's what that's I'm saying. That. That's what it's you about. You think they're bad people? Uh, but no. But you yourself are a politician. I don't think they're bad people. So that's what I'm saying. No. That's there are some bad people, mm. but not many. There's not many. Some. There's some. still that majority that are bad. Mm. How does she do? How does she do? Did well. Did well. But you see, you could go into politics. Right, I think you should. Who else? Another comic? OK. The NAF crime and youth spending, innit? They didn't spend right. enough money okay. on the youth spending. Right, OK. None of crime, mate. I, I sat this morning. One, one second, let me... I want to look smart like how yeah, you do it. Yeah, Let me see you, that's how you yeah. do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that half the time. That's good, yeah. <clears throat> Socks up. 
Uh, man uh, uh, up. Fluff casually. off the suit, all that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nana Kwama, thanks very much for, for joining us th uh, this evening. Uh, I know you were involved in the launch earlier with, uh, with Michael Slee of this uh, launch for more money for youth services, but so much money has been spent on young people in this country, and it is simply not true, as Michael said this morning, that all that money has been wasted. Nor is it the case that the, le the, the lack of money claimed by you people and your campaign has led automatically to a rise in knife crime. All right, I go with that risk. The money that you lot have spent, you lot didn't ask the it's young people. It's not me, people. I'm just asking you a question. The money that was spent, they did not ask the young people what they want. They decided that the young people wanted to go to museums. They decided to open it, free museums. Young people don't go to museums. They decide to open certain stuff for well, young, young people. people do. Right. Most, majority of the young people that are involved in knife crime, they don't want to go to museum. Museum is not beneficial for them. Maybe Personally, that's what they think. They think the money that should have been spent on the museum should have been spent on stuff in the in youth areas, like youth clubs, after school activities, place people can go on Saturday. Would you go Friday to the youth club? Yes, I do. I personally go to a youth club and I would go to a youth club. So there is a youth club there, so actually no, you've already you think your own no, argument. The youth you just club, say the facilities are there yeah. and you use them, so what's the your point? The youth club was there, there ain't enough youth clubs. The youth clubs that are already there, they're getting money cuts on there already. They're getting, they have to fire stuff, they're shutting down earlier, closing, not open the majority of the days. Before the youth club used to be open, Monday to Saturday. Now thanks to the money cuts that's been done, given by the government, youth clubs only open Wednesdays to Friday. And now it's have extremely re reduced so now you have nowhere to go during the afternoon. Nowhere to go? They, nowhere if you're shutting all the youth clubs... How have you said nowhere to go? If you're shutting all the youth clubs, shutting all the places they can go, and all the, place, the only place that they can go are a place where they spend money, of course they're going to hang around on the road where it's free to hang around, and of course they're going to they're chill by people that are exactly like them. So if you open the youth club to late hours and more days open, they would go there, they sit down and get positive thinking. So I would say more money to the youth. Yeah, but no. Good? No, Good? Mm -hmm. Well, Georgie, gay rights. Connor, you are not Alistair Campbell. <laughs> I know you aspire. <laughs> gay rights. Why are you about, gay. Gay people. Right, what's your, what's your main point? Well, I want to just quickly comment on what he said about youth groups. I go to an LGBT youth group for gay, bi, lesbian, transsexual people. We were flown to Poland this year. All of us completely free for a week. There was a, about 13 of us. Right, good idea. You take my place. Yeah. OK. Right, so, right, you ask the first question, right? OK. Just ask the question. Uh, in, this is Georgia. This is Georgia. She wants more money. Can I for... I don't want more money. She wants money. OK, all right. You start away. You ask the question. Right. Nice to meet you, Georgia. I'm Nana Kwame from Channel 4 Productions <laughs> new, News Group. Yeah. Right, my first question is, you say that you shouldn't get any more money and that they've got enough money spent. What is your opinion on this matter? I think I go to an LGBT youth group. We get provided for, for our food every single week that we go there. We get provided for trips. We go out all the time. We go to the theatre. We learn about culture. We learn about more about gay things. We learn about sexual education, e gay and straight world. How is the youth club funded? By the government. In which area? Camden. No, because certain areas get more money from government than other areas, innit? So what... Wait, one sec. Amy, interviewing you, man, chill out! And the right. majority of youth groups are for straight people. Can you prove we that? We have what? less Can... gay youth okay. groups in London. One sec. You, man, allow we're interviewing. You lot are not here. You lot can You don't next. exist. You lot don't exist at the wall here. Jesus! Listen to me. Listen to me. There are less gay youth groups in London, yet how come I think that we're sufficiently provided for... Can you prove that? Okay. Have you gone out and have the evidence that most youth clubs have not been cut, most youth clubs' hours have not been lowered, and most youth clubs are getting all the money they're is meant it, to but get? Is it lowered in a reasonable way? Do Every you, youth club asking, should I'm be cut her. for. We need more mm -hmm. money in our economical system. So are you moment. saying that it's so good? Fair are enough. you saying that it's good to cut youth clubs by two days off? Lower the hours on Friday and Saturday night so the youth have nowhere to go. Of course, I only go once a week and Are I think that's that? fair enough. So your youth club open over, only I'm only, once I only a week. go on a Wednesday night for three hours and I think that's right. more so than you, enough time. So you personally, and that has, your personal no, opinion... No, personally, that okay. has changed my life. So your personal opinion for the three nights... I have been going there for nights. months. Will you let me talk for a minute? You let me talk. Will you you cut know? in front of me. Well, let me talk. Excuse me, can you let calm down, madam? Let me talk for a minute. I've been going there for a few months now and it has honestly changed my life. I have more friends. I've been on a trip overseas. I have experienced 
experienced more things. I've been going to the theatre, I've learned about sexual education. I've only done that in the last six months of my life. Can you tell me that three hours once a week, and I don't even go in every single week, three hours once a week, is that not good enough? No. That has changed my life. No. Who's won? No. She can't cut in front of me, so of course I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I'm not cutting in front. Who's won? You're not going to be a good politician then. No. She has a personal opinion. She's not talking about what you talk about. I don't think I would never change my mind. She's got her own plans. She's working for me. Jenny. She said there should be more gay youth clubs here. I've never been to one youth club that said there's no gay people allowed. Any youth club that you went to, they said there's no gay people allowed. Any youth club that you went to, they said there's no gay people allowed. Any youth club that you went to, they said there's no gay people allowed. We're not allowed to say no gays, no blacks, no blacks. Exactly.